Welcome to CQG's QTrader, and for the next few minutes I'm going to show you a few things about the option functionality in the QTrader. Let's go ahead and get started by opening the options window by clicking on options on the toolbar, and then clicking on options window. Here we have all the call options for the September S&P mini contracts, with the strike showing here to the left. This option window is currently set in Greek view, which shows the price as a bid or ask and the Greeks to the respective strike. We can add bid and ask and bid and ask volume to this window by clicking on the bid and ask button. Now the bid and the bid volume and the ask and the ask volume were added right here behind the time column. The option window can also be in theoretical value versus underlying view if we click on the T slash U button here on the toolbar. Now we see the price of the calls with the strikes on the top horizontal axis and the underlying on the far left column here. While in Greek view or theoretical value versus underlying view, we can go to the top of the page and right click to change between calls and puts. Now we can see the puts for the same contract. The option window also has standard view. The standard view changes based on the value you want it displayed. These values are listed here on the left toolbar. I'll go ahead and click on last price. Standard view displays the underlying contract, the underlying price, days till expiration, the expiration date, volatility, implied volatility shift, and the interest rate for the said contract. Here we have the September calls and puts and the October calls and puts, and so on. We can change the order of this display by going to Setup, Option Preferences, and going to here where it says Column Order, and going from Months to Puts and Calls. Now we'll have the calls all here to the left, while the puts are all here to the right. Standard View allows you to look at the theoretical value as well, along with all the Greeks. Standard view also includes open interest and volume as well. You'll notice no matter what value we have displayed in standard view, the prices have different colors. Red indicates daily net down, while green indicates daily net up. And pink means the price is extended from yesterday. The option window is a great tool to view the options. However, we can open more tools from here. If we right click a price, we can then click place an order. Now we are able to execute a trade on this specific option. We can also right click and open snap quote to view more specific information for that option. I'll go ahead and drop a snap quote in the page. The next options tool available in the QTrader is the options calculator, which is also here on the options button on the toolbar. The options calculator calculates and displays the theoretical values and Greek values of an option contract based on user-defined what-if values. You can display outputs for a single set of what-if values or in graphical form over a continuously varying range of what-ifs. Here we have the contract area where you decide what symbol you want to trade, what option contract you want to trade, and at what strike and what option model you want to use. Here's the inputs area where we currently have displayed the actuals of the underlying price, option price, volatility, interest rate, days to expiration, and the date of expiration. In the what if column here, you can enter in certain what if values. The outputs will then be displayed here in the calculate results for section, as well as graphically here in the graph area. At the top right here, we can also see the effects on implied volatility as well as theoretical value. And then we can switch back to theoretical value. If we go to the tabs in the graph area, we can change from the premium to the Greeks. We can also change the horizontal axis down here by clicking on these tabs. We can go from underlining price to days to expiration to interest rate to volatility. At the top here, we also have volatility skew. Volatility skew is unique in that no matter what horizontal axis we have selected, it will always change the strike price versus implied volatility. 
I'll go ahead and return to premium versus underlying price. Now the cool thing about QTrader is that we can link all these windows. We can use the option window as the master and have the snap quote, option calculator, and DOM trader correspond to the option window. We'll go ahead and click on the icon at the top of the option window and go to link windows mode. Now the yellow square here at the top right indicates that the option window is now the master. And we'll go ahead and click on the snap quote, option calculator, and DOM trader. And go ahead and right click to exit linking mode. Now when I click on a certain option price, the other windows will correspond with that option. Now you can use the option window to find a certain option while using the snap quote to find quick important information regarding the option, the option calculator to do more in-depth analysis of the option, and the DOM trader to execute your order. This is just a few of the basics that QTrader has to offer as far as options. I hope you were able to learn something, and thank you for choosing CQG.